Monday, everyone. This is uh, hopefully coming to you Monday, July the 15th, and we're going through another daily devotional. This is from the Costa Rican daily devotional. Again, uh, I know you've heard this a hundred times, or at least four times, uh, four times so far, but you can uh, uh, read along with us. If you want to get the packet, you want to get the hard copy, you're welcome to do that on uh, the, the uh, just go follow the Clyde FUMC Facebook page, uh, and, uh, and you, we'll get you hooked up with the text there. Um, and uh, if you're in town, you can go to the church office and they'll, they'll have a copy for you. But today's devotional comes to us by Paige Smart. Really cool. Uh, this ought to be a short one, though. She, didn't, she, uh, she kept it very concise, but it starts with a passage out of First Peter. And this is uh, chapter 4, starting in verse 10. Let me get it up real quick. It says... Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. The word of God for the people of God. So, <laughs> this passage out of 1 Peter is really interesting. It's used a lot when, it's, when we're talking about spiritual gifts. There's a couple passages out of uh, Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians in particular, that we like to point to also when talking about gifting and, uh, and identifying gifts. And that's what Paige has kind of gone through uh, and, and talked about here. Uh, here is her devotional uh, as, as it's written. I decided to go with this verse because in youth group the past few weeks, our biggest focus has been on spiritual gifts. I believe that God gives us many gifts in order to accomplish the things that he put us on this earth for. This week here in Costa Rica doing God's work is a perfect time to seek out our spiritual gift and use it to its max. She says, my top three gifts as of July 1st were one, mercy, two, discernment, three, serving slash ministry. So I think all three of those are gonna be very useful on our trip in Costa Rica. She goes on, you too can discover your gifting using the same process that the youth at the church have found theirs. One way is by looking at what you're passionate about and what you're good at and see if there's any overlap. Another is by going to the uh, umc.org website. Um, there's a long list, it's slash what we believe slash spiritual gifts online assessment. Um, uh, maybe I'll throw it up here in text. Boom, there you go. Um, and so if you want to go there, it's a resource from the United Methodist Church uh, uh, denomination main website, uh, and it's to kind of assess what your natural gifts are, what your leanings are. That's what the youth at our church do. They take this assessment to see where their giftings are, and uh, we, uh, it's just self-assessment. So that's pretty cool. It's a neat resource. If you want to check it out, you can. Uh, she goes on, maybe you can start this week to use those gifts and to help others as your mission while we're away on ours. How cool! So, what are your gifts? What have you been given that you're passionate about, that you're good at, that God has placed in your life specifically so that you can go out and use those gifts, those blessings for the benefit of other people? That's the challenge. We're on our mission this week in Costa Rica. This is coming to you uh, pre-recorded, uh, so I, I'm, I'm not back yet, um, but I, I haven't even left yet, really. Uh, I'm both haven't left and not back. It's a weird place to be, but uh, in, in reality, uh, on July the 15th, I'll be over in Costa Rica, and we will be doing a building project. What we're doing is, uh, is as part of a larger building project, what we're doing in Costa Rica is... Uh, we're building, my understanding is, some kind of kids facility, uh, community facility. It'll be used for camps, it'll be used for uh, uh, daycares and things like that. Um, and so in Costa Rica, uh, there is a great need in this, in this San Isidro area that we're going to. Uh, f there's a lot of young families, single motherhoods very high, um, lots, lots and lots of, of uh, orphan children. Um, and uh, a single parent households uh, in the area. And so uh, just providing a community resource that they can go to um, and they can get the, the child care that they need, uh, mothers especially, so they can do the work that they need to do for the family. If you have kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't have kids, so maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, it seems like uh, uh, hand handling and raising kids 24-7 uh, is a big job. And so 
if you if you're wanting to make money, it's really hard to do that and raise the kids at the same time. So um, and also to raise the kids and clean at the same time, and also to raise the kids and make you know meals at the same time. So uh, I think this community re resource is uh, something that's needed, um, and we are just a piece of that building project. Sounds like we'll probably be doing, uh, most of the building is already done by the time we get there. Looks like we'll be doing some sheet rocking. It looks like we'll do, be doing some painting. Um, most of the structure looks like it's already been built. I've seen the pictures, I've seen the videos already from the site. And so um, it looks like that's what we're gonna be doing. Still uh, hard work and still manual labor. Um, and so that's what we're doing with the gifts of our time and our health and our strength. Uh, it's a young group that's going and so I'm sure we can get a lot accomplished in nine days. So this is day four uh, of nine, and so uh, we're about halfway through. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in here. I'll pray us out. Here's the prayer. Lord, thank you for all the gifts you've given us. Thank you for the blessings big and small. Help us to use those blessings and gifts for your kingdom and for the benefit of others. Give us a clear path to using our gifts and many opportunities to help those in need. Amen. Well, thanks to Paige for writing this, this today's devotional, and uh, I wish you back in the States uh, uh, plenty of opportunities to use those gifts. Uh, hopefully you're, you're having a great time this week, uh, and I appreciate that you've spent some time spending it with me. Uh, shout out to my friends and family, and uh, I hope I, 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 really, I love you, I appreciate you, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow in the next Daily Devotional. Go in peace.